Hi guys, today we are going to solve a hard problem and this is one of the frequently asked questions at Google these days. This is called as Russian doll envelopes. So we are given a 2D array of integers and which we call it as uh, envelopes where envelopes of i is equals to wi and hi where wi and hi are the width and the height of the envelope. So one envelope can fit into another if and only if both the width and the height of the envelope are greater than other envelopes width and height. And we need to return the maximum number of the envelopes that we can Russian doll. That is put one inside the other. Okay, so this uh, the problem description is very simple. We just need to put one envelope inside the bigger envelope. And this is how we need to see how many envelopes we can put inside each other. This is uh, what they call as Russian doll. There is a condition over here that you cannot rotate the envelope. So let's see the first example. If you see the first example, you will see that we have 5, 4, 6, 4, 6, 7 and 2, 3. And the maximum number of envelopes that you can Russian doll over here is 3. And that is because we take the smallest one which is 2, 3. And then we place it inside the 5, 4 which is bigger than this one and then into 6, 7. Okay. So that's the first answer and we have a second example where we have envelopes and all of, we have three envelopes and all of them has a height and a width of one so over here we can only russian doll one so this is only one it cannot go inside the another one our answer is one so let's take the first example which is five four six four six seven and two three how can we do this one possibility could be that we sort the elements in the list by the width first and then the height and after sorting these elements based on this criteria the elements would be 2 3 5 4 6 7 and 6 4 so now if you see that you will notice that the values 6 7 and 6 4 both have a width of 6 but once you russian doll the one with bigger height you cannot russian doll with the one with the lower one now we know that the elements are sorted already by width and then the descending height one good way to solve this problem is that we store the heights in the queue so each time there is a new height we will append it to the queue based on the index position of the element in the sorted list by using the bisect function in python so bisect function bisect underscore left function in python so bisect underscore left function is basically it returns the position in the sorted list where the number passed in argument can be placed so as to maintain the resultant list in the sorted order now i'll try to explain you what this means it means that so if the element is already present in the list the left most position where the element has to be inserted is returned well this means that for example you insert the height in a new list let's call this list as bst so the bisect underscore left of bst comma three will give me the index of 0. So why it gives index of 0? Because the BST list is currently empty. If you would place 3, you would place it on the first position, which is 0th position, right? But note over here that we don't actually, when we call bisect underscore left function, we don't insert the element into the list. We just calculate the position of the element if it would be inserted okay so if 3 would be inserted at what position it would be inserted so and this would be a sorted position right so for example we have 4 already in the list and you place 3 it will still give you 0 for example you have 3 already in the list and now you want to insert a value 2 so your function bisect underscore left bst comma 2 will return the index of 0 because it will give you the index of the sorted position of 2 because 2 is less than 3 so it will still give you it will be placed uh, it would be placed on the 0th position so it returns you the 0th position note that it doesn't insert the element into the list this function just gives you the position if it would be inserted and now suppose if we have 4 instead of uh, let's say 2 so for example we already have 3 in the list 
and then we have four like bisect underscore left bst comma four the return index would be one because four is greater than three so i hope you understand how this function can be used now since i explained you this the problem becomes very easy using the bisect function in python we see that we have height and the width in envelopes and for each height we calculate the index right so now the first step would be to sort the envelopes by the width and the descending height which is shown over here and then we define our list which is known as bst which is an empty list and then we say for w comma height or v in envelopes so v is height over here we have two values so we are actually traversing in this list and let's say we say two and three first right and then we say index is equal to bisect bisect left bst comma v which is let's say height and the first height would be three right then we check if this index is less than the bst the length of the bst this code will not execute in the first go because the index is zero if you try to insert three over here so the index will be zero and the length of the bst is also zero so zero will not be less than zero so this will not execute in the first go so we will just append we go to the else condition and we append the first value which is three so now list contains one element which is three. Second, we go to the next height which is four in the sorted ar array the second height is four so the position will now be one bisect underscore left bst comma four four is greater than three so it would be placed at the position one index one and this index one is not less than the length of the bst because bst has the element three only here so one is not less than one so again we append so now we have uh, three and four in our list and the length of the bst is now two and now seven is our next height so this will be placed after four because it's greater than four okay so the position that would be returned over here will be second index so 0 1 2 and 3 uh, 0 1 and 2 so now 2 is not less than the length of the bst which is also 2 so 2 is not less than 2 so we place we will uh, again append 7 into our bst and then the last one is 4 try to calculate 4 bst comma 4 4 will be we already have one 4 over here which is at the position 1 because 3 was at the index 0 and 4 is at the index 1 so this 4 would be placed on the left of the originally existing 4 because it's bisect underscore left if it was just bisect we will place it on the right okay so we place this 4 on the left side of the 4 we didn't actually place but we will calculate the index so that would be 1 okay so our index would be 1 and now 1 is less than 3 because we have 3 elements 3 4 and 7 in our list so what we do is that bst of index is equal to v so at the first position we will just place this 4 and we already had one 4 at the first position so that will be overwritten okay the idea over here is that when we see something like this uh, for example the widths are same 6 and 6 and everything is already sorted okay so everything was sorted by the width and the descending height so only the heights could differ over here and when the widths are same and the heights are different then you encounter something which is like this then in that case we are just going to replace another element and our answer should be in relation to how many envelopes that we can rush and doll okay and that would be basically the number of elements which are residing finally in our list so that would be the length of the bst right when this element will be replaced and existing element the height will be unchanged in this kind of a condition since we have already sorted the elements we won't have a situation where the later element have a lower width than the earlier and only the situation like this would need to be addressed where two width are same and the heights are different this is a little smart and short way of doing this problem and importantly if the height is the one which is lower 
then it will just be replaced. The total count of the elements in the list will not be increased. So our number of the elements in the list or the length of the list is the main criteria to get the count of the envelopes we can Russian doll. That's it guys. I hope that you understand this problem well. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next lecture.